Robert F. Kennedy Jr., the former independent presidential candidate, recently revealed that he is under investigation for a peculiar incident that took place over 20 years ago involving the collection of a whale specimen. During a campaign event in Glendale, Arizona, Kennedy stated that the National Marine Fisheries Service had contacted him, initiating an inquiry into his actions surrounding the specimen. According to Kennedy, this investigation is part of a broader weaponization of government agencies against political opponents, a claim he made while speaking at a rally supporting former President Donald Trump. This controversy dates back to an event in 1994, when a dead whale washed ashore near Hyannisport, Massachusetts. Kennedy's daughter, Kathleen Kick Kennedy, detailed the bizarre episode in a 2012 video, explaining that her father used a chainsaw to remove the head of the deceased whale and then strapped it to the roof of the family car for their journey home. The journey, as described by his daughter, was anything but ordinary, with whale juice seeping into the car, prompting the family to wear plastic bags to avoid the stench. This unusual story, though humorous in her recounting, has resurfaced to create legal implications for RFK Jr. Environmental groups have taken note of the whale incident and are urging authorities to investigate whether Kennedy violated federal laws such as the Marine Mammal Protection Act. The Center for Biological Diversity Action Fund has called for Kennedy to surrender the whale skull and any other wildlife specimens he may possess. They argue that regardless of Kennedy's name or privilege, the rules apply to everyone, and illegal collection of wildlife should be penalized. Kennedy has refused to discuss the specifics of the investigation further, dismissing it as gossipy nonsense. He criticized the media for focusing on what he considers trivial matters rather than substantive policy discussions. However, this is not the first time Kennedy has faced scrutiny for his handling of deceased animals. Just last August, he admitted to placing a dead bear cub in Central Park over a decade ago, further adding to his unconventional history with wildlife. As Kennedy continues to make headlines, it remains unclear what the outcome of this investigation will be. While the statute of limitations may prevent some legal consequences, the issue has reignited public debate over the treatment of protected species and the responsibilities of public figures in observing conservation laws. Kennedy's responses thus far suggest that he views this incident as part of a broader political attack, but the legal proceedings could shed more light on the details of this curious and long-forgotten whale episode. Stay subscribed for more videos.